Dear Writer Recognize this sight? Every so often, my desk will look like this. It's a sign that I'm working on too many projects at a time. Like most writers, I have more ideas than I can count. The problem is, I can't write them all at once or I'll spread myself too thin. So, after some reflection, I've decided to focus on only one story at a time. However, I struggled for a while to choose which project to focus on first. How many story ideas do you have? And how do you choose which to write next? If you're not sure, I have a method to share with you. It's simple. We'll be ranking our story ideas according to five key questions. These are the unfinished projects I can see myself writing right now. There's 13. I'll be using Notion, but you could just as easily use pen and paper or a digital spreadsheet. So, first, create a table view for a new database. In the Properties section, you'll be adding each of your project ideas as a number. Question 1. How would I feel if this was the only book I ever published? This is by far the most important question I ask myself, because the projects I would be comfortable having as my only published work are the ones that are the most honest, the ones I am absolutely sure only I could write. I know there's the saying that two people could be given the same story idea and out of it would come completely different books. And that's true, but there's no guarantee that the idea would strike a chord with both writers. And if it doesn't for one writer, then there's a high chance they won't develop the theme deeply enough and the story won't be as good as it could be. The projects that get the highest points in this question are the ones that are the most raw and vulnerable to me and therefore take priority in my final choice. Question 2. How well does this project reflect me as an author? This question ties in with the first one, but it has more to do with your big picture goals as an author, your author brand. Something I struggle with a little bit is the fact that I feel like I have two author identities, one for middle grade readers and one for new adult and adult readers. These are wildly different audiences, so when I answer this question, I'm only answering it for one of those. But in general, I consider my writing to be whimsical and a little bit dark, and so any project idea that doesn't really fit this, a contemporary novel for example, which I only have one idea for, takes the back seat for now. Question 3. How prepared do I feel to take on this project? This is important to take into consideration because there are certainly stories that I feel are just right for me as an author, but I don't feel ready to explore the themes in them yet. The stories that score low here will have to simmer in my head for a bit longer and later, when I finish a project, 
I'll come back and see if I feel more prepared to tackle them or not. Question 4. How fleshed out is the story already? This is more about the plot than about the way you feel. Do you know the characters? Do you know the conflict? Or do you just have a few scenes floating around in your head? Do you know how to write this story? Question 5. How exciting is the concept to me? Finally, we take into account our current levels of excitement towards the story. Is this something you can't stop thinking about? Do you feel like diving into this world right now? Okay, now I'll be answering these questions for each of my writing projects and we'll see if the highest ranked project is the one that feels most fulfilling for me to write right now. Which idea did you choose? What will you be writing next? Let me know in the comments and remember, create what is true to your heart.